this 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 plate isn't perfect, but uh, this is an experiment at this point. So I ordered some uh, heat sinks, and uh, here's my Peltier, Peltier, whatever, however they, and I'm gonna mount it on there, kind of like so, with the sun shining on this side. Yeah, we'll see. So here's the setup. A little bit temporary right now. There's the Peltier. Nothing hooked up. This little fan is not hooked up. So hopefully, see it does indeed focus some light here. Try to get it where you want it. We're at point, point two, point zero two. Not very impressive. My temperature, 113 on this side. Hundred and fourteen on this side, so let's get some heat on it. Like I said, it's a little cloudy, there's trees, so and we've proven my little foil works. It's not the best, but I think I'm gonna cook this uh Peltair pretty quick. For 159 and 130 on this side. We are up to a whole point six of a volt. Super. Anyway, 190 Fahrenheit. Is pretty hot. I'm probably cooking the thing 150. I've only got 0 0.7, 0 0.8 volts. Real quick, I'm gonna switch to amps and see what we got. I only have 600 milliamps. My heat sink really doesn't work very well. 180, I turned it away so it doesn't burn up. 180, 180. So, not quite sure why L heat sink is so worthless. So I felt like I needed a comparison. This little solar panel. This sun's still going down. It pulls or makes 8.6 volts and if I swap it over there I've got 150 so if you multiply that times voltage to get watts alright I did the math 0 0.6 volts times 0.6 amps this is putting out about 0.36 watts whereas this little solar panel is putting out 1.2 watts so I've got a ways to go I guess it is comparable <clears throat> solar panels are just so much easier just fork out the money and go